Hi, I'm Matt from Heroic Tactics, and welcome to another another edition of You Built That. Uh, today's theme build is called If Only I Can Get These Points to Work, and it's a 605 point team build. It's like a tribute to all those times you've made like a really awesome team, it's just been like a couple of points over. Now, Teen Titans gave us a whole bunch of neat stuff to play with, but one of the pieces that really stood out in my mind was the Batman. The Batman's got this trait that says characters within six squares, or opposing characters within six squares, cannot ignore pushing damage. And there's just been a bunch of times when I've just been like up against this monster, and I can't get him past this one click, and I know if I could just get him past that one click, I would make everything so much better, but then he'd have like willpower end on him, and like he just wouldn't be able to push past it, so like... This right there just like totally appealed to me, and I really wanted to make a team for that. Now, it wouldn't be one of my teams if I didn't find a way to get Nightwing on there, and uh, Teen Titans give us the awesome Disco Nightwing. Uh, I picked him over other versions of Nightwing because he has the improved movement, and he's got that outwit leadership skills that I think is going to be awesome. And plus, he looks totally 80s out, so I totally love this guy. Uh, the next character I picked was Black Bat. Um, she fits in perfect with every Batman team. She's kind of pricey, but she's totally worth it. Uh, the next character I picked was the No Man's Land uh, L.E. Uh, Batgirl. Um, I'm planning on using her like a little like tactical nuke where she runs in, does her charge flurry, and if she lives, she keeps hitting people with her with her free action in cap. Um, I'm using the Hush Prime. Now, I've been beat by this character so many times throughout No Man's Land and all the fun stuff like that. And I finally got him like two weeks ago. So I've been looking for any excuse to throw him in. And since I was playing Batman Family, I was like, might as well. I'm using the autopiloted, um, the autopiloted Bat Cycle as a taxi, just a cheap taxi. And then my final piece is a 59-point Robin from Streets of Gotham. And I picked him for two reasons. Uh, one for his special power that says that characters adjacent to him, or opposing characters adjacent to him, can improve their stat city. And two, for that uh, that snag and drag, where you hit him with an end cap and then you can drag him to where you want him. So I'd like to be able to hit somebody a few times and then put him, bring him right in front of Batman and have Batman beat him down. Uh, stuck a full belt on Batman because it's Batman and it's fun that way now that the cow is out. Alright, so how to do? Well, I, I went one and two. Um, I had a really amazing game against this guy who I've never ever beat before. And I was finally able to beat him, so that was a lot of fun. Um, I did get murderated the other two times. Um, as soon as people realized what Batman could do, he was just like a really big target, and they were like fast, fast, fast. And of course, they took out the, the bike early because it was letting me move in position and stuff like that. Um, I didn't get to use um, Robin's denying a strength power as much as I'd like to. I didn't position him right. That was really my fault. I should have paid way more attention to where I was putting him. I was too busy trying to use his snag and drag power to knock people into the lava of the Teen Titans map, so that was really... I was being greedy. That was my problem. Um, what I would change to my team, like, uh, I was thinking about playing with the Insider. He's one of my favorite chases. Uh, he's got that nice little teleporting taxi power. Uh, I think it would have helped me position better and then out get his little first action outwit and his psychic penetrating blast. I think it would have helped a lot. Um, there's not much else I really wanted to trade, um, change to my team. I really made the team so I could use the people on purpose because it was a lot of fun. Um, all in all, I'm really happy with this team. So this is Matt with Heroic Tactics, and thank you for another listening. Thank you, thank you for watching another edition of You Built That?